All right, today we're gonna talk about the three powerful questions to close more sales. Asking questions is super important if you wanna be a killer person in sales. It's not about what you think, it's about what your prospect thinks. And you just telling a prospect something really doesn't mean shit. It's really about the questions that you're asking them so they are thinking on what their reality, what their situation really looks like, what it's costing them, things of that nature. It's really about them, it's about their psychology, it's about what they think. So we access this and we influence people by asking them powerful questions. So the three questions that are super powerful in really closing more deals with your offer is one, asking them, why haven't they been able to solve this problem on their own? That's the first question. Why haven't they been able to solve this problem on their own? They may have made attempts to solve the problem, but if they're coming to you, it's likely that they still have the problem, they've not been able to solve it. The second question is, why now? Is there a sense of urgency? Is there a sense of urgency to fix this problem? We have to un understand that. And the third question is, you know, if we fix this problem for you, we find a solution, what can we expect as a result? What can we reasonably expect as a result? So we're gonna dive into these three questions, understand the true psychology behind it, and help people really understand, are they in a position where they actually need help? And is it urgent for them to, to fix it? And then what can we expect as a result? So like I said, asking questions is extremely powerful. Now let's talk about why questions are so important. Questions truly make or break a sale. Like I said, it is not about what we think when we're on a sales call, it's about what they think. So we need to understand their reality and their current situation. And why are we on the phone? It's to help someone solve a problem. That's why we're on the phone. So we gotta determine you know, what really is the, the problem and is the problem serious? And so a lot of times by asking these questions, your prospect is gonna better understand the context of their problem and the ramifications of it, or maybe the ramifications of not fixing the problem. That's why questions are so important. So let's dive into the first question, and that is, what has kept you from solving this problem on your own? This is super important because it creates a sense of doubt in your prospect's mind because look, if your prospect has a problem, they probably want it fixed. We need to determine, do they actually need help? And I tell this to a lot of prospects. I say, look, like I'm trying to determine if you actually need help. There's a difference between wanting help and needing help. Do you really need help? Because if you're gonna be successful in a program like mine, there needs to be a need for help for you to be motivated to make the changes necessary. Is there actually a need for it? And think of it this way. If your prospect truly believes that they can fix the problem on their own, if they can, why would they wanna work with you if they can fix the problem on their own? Why would they wanna give you money if they can do it by themselves? So that's a really good question that we have to ask. And so a lot of times I'm asking people this question and I'm saying, you know, this problem sounds like the problem's still here. Have you done anything to fix it at this point? What, what solutions have you tried so far? And they'll tell, they'll tell me, like, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried this, and it's got, you know, maybe the problem's gotten a little bit better. I'll say, great, okay, cool. So the problem seems to be getting a little bit better when you're trying these things, but it sounds to me that even after you've tried all these things, the problem is still there. I mean, that's why we're on the call, right? And a lot of times they say, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess you're, you're right. Like I've tried this, I didn't realize that. It's like I've tried all these things and yet the problem is not fixed. So then it helps people realize, helps them think like, okay, I have tried to fix the problem on my own and I haven't been able to. So that helps them realize and helps them make a decision whether or not do they actually need help fixing the problem. So that's why we're asking them, why haven't you been able, why haven't you been able to figure this out on your own? So let's talk about the next question. Why is this urgent for you? Why is fixing this problem honestly urgent for you? And here's how I frame this up with a lot of people I meet with on the phone is I say, look, to be successful in, in a program like mine, 
there needs to be a sense of urgency. And the reason why is because if there's not a sense of urgency, you're not gonna be able to take the actions needed to fix the actual problem. So there needs to be a sense of urgency. So help me understand, why is fixing this problem urgent for you? And a lot of times people will say, well, it's urgent because of this. The timing is, is now. I'm sick of having this problem. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Maybe they're losing a lot of money. Maybe they're losing sleep, whatever it is. And, and a lot of times they'll say it's urgent because I'm tired of losing this. I'm tired of losing that, whatever it is. So we got to understand and maybe even help them understand why it's urgent. Here's what happens a lot of times when people have a problem, they don't necessarily think about what the problem actually is. A lot of times people sedate themselves, whether it's through food, TV, drinking, whatever it is, to say like, okay, like this problem's here, but I'm gonna just keep my mind away from it. So that way I just pretend like it doesn't exist. Yet the problem always is still there. So by asking these, these questions like, is it urgent? It really gets them thinking more about this problem, the issue, what they're trying to actually solve. It gets them truly thinking, why is this urgent? And if it's not urgent for them, honestly, you're probably not gonna be able to help them. You know, I'm just telling you straight up, if it's not urgent for them, you probably wanna to speak to someone else. So you need to look for people where there's a sense of urgency. And a lot of times people, if you ask them in the right way, they'll say, oh yeah, perhaps this, yeah, actually this is urgent for me and here's the reason why. And we're using that to help them understand why they need to make a change, make it now. And the third question is, if I help you solve this problem, if we find a solution to it, what can we reasonably expect as a result? So this is what I call future pacing. Now, the whole idea behind it is here's the problem. And a lot of times I'm looking at, you know, what is it really costing you currently? Again, we're trying to understand the urgency there. So now if we can fix this problem, what will happen as a result? And the answer is going to be different for every single person that you talk to. It's going to be slightly different. So let's say the answer may be, yeah, if I fix this problem, I'm gonna look better, I'm gonna be healthier, I'm gonna make more money in my business, I'm gonna have better relationships, whatever it is. You want them to understand and really paint a picture in their head. By asking them that question, they are then painting a picture in their head, oh, if I make a change, if I do something different, maybe working with you, the person on the phone, if I make a change, Here's what I believe I can reasonably see. And I'm very careful with asking this question because a lot of times I'll say, what can we reasonably expect? What can we conservatively ex expect? And here's the reason why. You'll see a lot of people that say, yeah, I was talking to this person, the sales guy on a phone, and this guy was promising me the stars and the moon saying, if I work with this program, I'm gonna make a million dollars, do all this, 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 this and that, and, and that didn't happen. So now, how do I disarm that? I say, look, like, we're not gonna talk about this perfect situation. Let's just be reasonable. If we fix this problem for you, what is a reasonable outcome in your mind? And I'm always asking that in your mind, what do you think? Because now it's actually their idea. It's in their head. They're saying, okay, so if I take a jump, if I take a jump now and fix this problem in three months, in two months, whatever, in a year, this is what I am going to see. At least I think so to the best of my belief, this is what I believe I can expect here. That really gets them thinking on the total outcome of what that really looks like, what that really looks like. So just to, to wrap all of this up, three powerful questions to close more deals. We're asking these questions because we need to understand their psychology. It's not about your psychology, it's about their psychology. Understanding their thought processes because when we can truly understand them, that's when we can take the lead and really influence them and push them to making some changes in their life, in their business, whatever it is. So what are we asking? Do you actually need help? Do you need help, why? Why haven't you been able to figure this out on your own? What have you tried so far? So it sounds like you've tried all of these, but it hasn't exactly solved the problem for you, is that right? So we want them to understand, do they actually need help, yes or no? And then question number two, What's the urgency here? Why is this urgent for you? What happens now? What happens in the next month? What happens in the next three months if you don't make any changes to your current situation? Like, help me understand what actually happens. Why is this urgent? Again, it helps them understand that if it is urgent for them, this is the reason why and why they need to make a jump now, which is gonna help you close more deals.
And then lastly, we want them to understand if they do make a decision, they do make a jump, they do invest their money, they invest their time and energy, whatever it is, they do this, what can we reasonably expect? What can we conservatively expect as a result? And if we do all of these things, we close more deals. It's as simple as that. So if you found value in this video, hit like, subscribe, check us out here at Wake Up Wealthy. If you have any questions for me, I'm very accessible. Hit me up on Instagram at brandon.gif.